welcome back. It is time to go over and check out the vendor show. It's Thursday morning, about nine o'clock our time, and it runs Thursday and Friday, but Friday in the afternoon is when they start to pack up. So let's go get over there. It's a little windy out. It's been a little cold this morning, but it's gonna be awesome. So let's see what they have for us. So we're in the Spanish Trail Arena. There's a lot of stuff outside, and I thought everything was outside. This is my first time coming. It's where they turn in their stuff, but they have quite a bit in here as well, outside of the wind and the weather. That's pretty good. That looks like the turning in your stuff bag place. I love the support. Uh, often at these groups that have to do with like military stuff, there's usually an element to that. Pure Americana, it's good stuff. Look at these. Those look meaty. The big issue with these, with the dog leg, is they flop. Right? Yeah. They yeah. Flop down. So the way this is engineered, you can see it on this one. There's a grease race and a zerk. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the bearing, when you turn, the, to, in order to keep these from flopping, most of the ones on the market, they use a real tight sphere. The problem with that is you get parasitic drag as you turn. Okay. Right? And it makes the steering real stiff. So ours, the bearing itself rotates in the housing. So the steering is really smooth. There's no mm -hmm. parasitic drag. And the fitment of the bearing, it's a really tight fit bearing so that it doesn't flop. And as well, the way this is uh, cut, it limits the amount of misalignment that this can have. Mm -hmm. So you get just enough misalignment at full lock for that Ackerman angle, right? Right. Um, but it doesn't flop. So it's smooth, no parasitic drag, doesn't flop, inch and a quarter thread. How long of uh, use are you seeing on those bearings typically for people wheeling hard? So this is a new product. We're just launching it right now. Okay. We've had it in testing for about a year and a half. Okay. And have had no issues. Our ball joint delete kits use the same bearing. Okay. And we've got folks with 100,000 road miles on 40s. Okay. No issues. What's the price point on those? We're still figuring that out, but they're not going to be cheap. These these are machined out of a billet of 4140, so they're pretty expensive. Probably 700 bucks a pair. <laughs> cool. Have you seen the ball joint deletes? I have. I want to do them. Okay, That's cool. My, that's, I was thinking about doing them for EJS. We've got, did some other stuff, so. We've got folks with 100,000 road miles on 40s. We've also got Ultra 4 teams that, before they put our kit in, they were doing ball joints every session. So they go practice, new ball joints. Qualify, new yeah. ball joints. Race, new ball joints. We've got teams that have six seasons on their same ball joint group. All right, we're looking at their ball joint delete. It rotates. 60, it's clamped together. The race and there's adjustments, so you actually get the ability to adjust camber again that you lost when you went ahead and did all your lift kit and stuff like that, which is rad. That's how this is set up. Yeah, how do you do the camber? All right, guys. Oh, you want to, on the, you want to, let's talk about camber? camber because camber okay. disappears when we do our lift kit. Okay. All right, so this bushing is a three degree and you can see the offset, so it's an eccentric setup. So let's say that you, you have this in your driver's side and you can see the offset is three degrees. Once you lift that rig, everything gets rotated forward. So you lose caster when your pinion goes up. So you can actually rotate that bushing to where the offset is to the back and you've essentially gained that three degrees of positive caster back. So if you wanted, if you wanted one and a half and one and a half, you would rotate it only 45 from the start position. So, so you can dial one and a half in. Camber, one and a half if you have a three degree bushing, you're not, you're not pigeonholed into running only three degrees. So there's a proportion problem for degrees of rotation in any plane. You can get, you can rotate this thing 45 degrees and get one and a half camber and one and a half caster. So it's literally infinite up to that number of three. So if you wanted 2.1 and 0.9, it's doable. If you want 1.75 and whatever the difference is, it's doable. So 
And it's all based on a proportion problem, and on the instructions, there's a there's a table that goes through all of that. So. And then once you got it dialed to where you want it, you grind the yep. flat in, and it drops in and locks in. A little trick is you can you can actually put the bushing on top of the C where the flat is, and take like a, a soft hammer and smack the top of it. And then you can look on the bottom side, get the bite where that line is, yeah. yeah, and then just kind of take your flap wheel and then like take a peek underneath there and like it keeps the bushing from rotating and changing so well i'm a little jealous because i can't adjust my camera i have kingpins so <laughs> but that's pretty rad if i still had my non-kingpins i'd probably be dropping those in you don't want ball joints anyways you get knurled ones it gets more hollowed out that's rad uh, thursday or friday and then leave on sunday That product was really cool. Um, a lot of people are buying ball joint delete kits right now. And I haven't heard anybody doing that with that caster camber. I don't care so much about caster as I do about camber. Um, but that was pretty rad. I thought that was cool. So hopefully you guys like it. And if you do, go buy it. Their price point is going to probably be a little bit higher than like your average stuff but their stuff sounds like it's solid it lasts so instead of buying two to equal just buy one be done terraflex came down and supported ejs that's awesome we got rock slide down here this is real early so it's a lot more calm See if I can find Nick again. Let's chat it up with those guys. Impromptu explanation of stuff, but that was pretty cool. For your IFS people over here. Dry skin. <laughs> it's so funny. Some of the products that are out here, I don't know if they're for the wives or they just look at us and think that we're gonna actually start using lotion. Revolution. Got the Spicer, steal it. Still, it's pretty cool because you're supposed to be able to weld over it and still get protection. I still don't use it because it's more expensive, but a lot of people love it. So, so we got Mastercraft out here. These things are comfortable though. So I have an older set and my CJ7 and uh, these work really well, uh, especially not to have too high of a hip part on, like the JK, it's not as bad, but if you're in like a YJ CJ where the bucket comes up, they're nice. I have PRPs in my, uh, in my JK, but I mean, maybe it's just because they're worn in, but those Mastercrafts are dang comfortable. We got the Peck Brothers commercial for the old ride dog. That's your anti-theft. Right there. Oh, I don't worry about my Instead of going with the old Apple tag, old Rad Dog. They've been sponsoring people. Next venture. Ran with them in Sand Hollow. Blankets. We got more flake down here. Blue Ribbon Coalition. They're doing a lot of good stuff. So the biggest issue with a lot of the battle for the off-road stuff is, is when we find out about it as a general off-roader, it's kind of already done its thing. Um, they're actually proactively looking and finding out what's coming up, what's going on, so that way it can get involved earlier and have a bigger chance of impacting for a positive outcome for us. So that's a really cool organization doing that. All right, let's go outside and see. Off-road warehouse, I ordered my tire carrier, my Generite tire carrier through them. There you go. They hooked me up with a 10% off, you know what I mean? That was what it was back then. Rock hard. Maxis. Yeah. 
This the hooch? They got some lotion hooch I was making fun of. Look at that. I'm going to put some on my little mittens. Woo, it looks like cellulite. More than that. More than that. A little cell. Oh, I'm having a good time. That's soft. <laughs> it doesn't make them uh, sticky. You know, some lotion makes you some on that Uh-oh. We got all the social influencers parked at the RPM booth. Off-road designs with their transfer case housings and such. Oh, some cigars. Look at that. Un Francais. We were just having a real brief conversation about comparison to quality and stuff like that. RPM starting to put out like um, aluminum links. Nick's an ambassador of, and I'm a purchaser of. And I'm going to tell you 10 times out of 10, I'll tell you to go ahead and go summit machine on your, your control arms and all that stuff because Julene is where it's at. She is the standard in the off road community. And uh, it's just what you should be doing. Uh, no disrespect for those out there that you can buy from, but you know, I'm not sponsored. Uh, probably won't be at some point, but, and maybe I will and I'll have to eat crow and delete this video, but <laughs> Julene is where it's at. Julene is the boss. She is. She makes good stuff, she stands by it, and she can talk trash with the best of you. I like this wrap. Look at that. Well, that makes my brain happy. Yes, please. Power of the tank. That wind's kicking up, ladies and gentlemen. We got buyer out here supporting it. Rock jock. Max strap, buddy. Look at this wind. <laughs> Oh, guys. Yeah, yeah I. Milstein shirts are flying. Easy flight competing with more flight out here. It's a flight off. Rugged. <laughs> Everybody's trying to take down. Oh, yeah, you're there. You're famous. You are famous. Hey, guys. You come down here and there are so many Jeeps for sale. There's just so many. They're probably not marked at any kind of reasonable discount. <laughs> so, no show special on the privately sold Jeeps. Midland's out here. That's good. Carnage welders. Everything's in a briefcase now. You got air in a briefcase, you got welders in a briefcase. That's a sweet rig. Here's the brand that Nick went through for all of his stuff on his clutch. I'll tell you what, if money was not a problem, that thing looks pretty rad. This big old RV deal. Yeah. Heck yeah. If y'all ever feel like sponsoring, <laughs> just bet some. Oh man, we got the red line oil for your transfer case out here. That's a surprise. We got the odor away gift bag. That was cool. Eaton's out here with their e-lockers. I know Rory's a big fan. They've had a lot of problems with their electronic lockers for a while. I don't know if they got it ironed out or what, but I like my air lockers. Warren's going off. Yes, please. A mile star. Probably got Chuck Converse down here then because he took over their events. Well, that's the vendor show. Everything I saw there was either regular price, five to 10% was typically what you could go ahead and get there. RCV though did have some great offerings uh, while we're on trail, which I bet you they give you at the show. They were even talking about um, free shipping. I think it was 25%, 20%. So if you're looking at RCV axles, this might be the time to go ahead and get down here and talk to them about it. But. I hope you enjoyed the walk around on that and we'll catch you on the next video.